Welcome to Last Set News. My name is Rob. In Houston, we have a problem, but fortunately, that problem is being taken care of by Coinbase. Before we get into it, I just want to make mention of uh, that me and Guy and Ben uh, from Coin Bureau and the Cryptoverse, uh, we did our NFA show live this morning, and it was really good. We talked about the things that we can do, how we can be our brother's keeper, the things that are going on in the crypto space. So I'm going to link that in the description below so you can watch it. Excellent conversation with these two gentlemen. But Today, I just want to do a quick video just to update everybody about what's going on with Coinbase and Silvergate. There was a tweet, and the tweet said, and it always scares me when it starts out with this, at Coinbase, or fill in your exchange, all client funds continue to be safe. And I'm like, all right, here we go again. What's going on? And they say Coinbase is no longer accepting or initiating payments to or from Silvergate. First of all, who's Silvergate? Well, Silvergate is a bank based in La Jolla, California. It's a Federal Reserve uh, member bank, leading provider of innovative financial infrastructure solutions and services for the digital asset industry. That's us. And their stock is publicly traded on the New York Stock Exchange. So when I saw this, I'm like, great, contagion. There's a problem. Uh, things are going to go down. This is awful. But it uh, appears that Coinbase has got their, their, their finger on the pulse of what's happening. And they state this, Coinbase will be facilitating institutional client cash transactions with our other banking partners and have taken proactive action to help ensure that clients experiences no impact from this change. Client cash is held at FDIC insured U.S. banks. When a client has a large dollar balance, Coinbase stores their cash in a U.S. government money market fund to keep it safe and liquid. Here's how we do it. Coinbase has minimal corporate exposure to Silvergate. So as far as these industries that are using Silvergates and uh, institutional clients, they're like, look, we're not going to accept to or from, we're going to shut it down. And why is that? It's because of this. So this just came out uh, Thursday, March 2nd. That'll be today. Silvergate stock crashes after company delays annual report reveals new losses. Also, don't forget to donate to St. Jude. It's a fantastic organization. I always like to see these ads and just remind people. So not to get off track, shares of troubled lender Silvergate fell 45% at this morning's open after the company said late Wednesday it will miss a March 16th deadline to file its already delayed annual report. Why would they do that? Well, Silvergate shares have collapsed over the last year as the company's entanglements with several crypto firms, including bankrupt exchange FTX, among others, resulted in deposits falling by more than two thirds. So what's going on is Coinbase is saying, look, there's some contagion going on with Silvergate. We don't like what's going, what's happening. So to and from, we're going to shut it down. And we'll see if Silvergate is actually solvent again. They are FDIC insured bank, Federal Reserve Bank. So we'll see just how far that contagion can actually go to. So that's the bad news. But there's always good news for the people that aren't greedy and are doing the right things, such as, well, Polygon. So this was a tweet from uh, Johan Kurbrat, and he is the uh, Robinhood app crypto GM. And they just did a release that said, look, uh, our Robinhood wallet now you're going to be able to swap and buy and do everything else inside the wallet, which is a non-custodial wallet for Robinhood. And it's built on Polygon. And you can see right here that it's only available for um, not Android, but for uh, iPhone or iOS. And from what I understand, it's only available in the United States so far. But what is interesting is that you can do all this cool stuff. You can own and control your decentralized assets, swap it with no network fees because it's on Polygon. You can secure your NFT collection, transfer your existing crypto with ease. And essentially, it's your own wallet that once you set it up, it has your own private keys and everything else. So it's pretty interesting. You can download it. I linked that in the description. So I just see that this is, you know, Polygon, you know, winning in the bear market. And uh, just as a little side note, uh, I am super biased. I own a lot of Polygon. So when I see these stories, I'm like, hey, I'm excited. Not to mention that uh, you know, these things have their negative aspects to it. But uh, I think this is a step in the right direction for Polygon, integrating with uh, uh, Robinhood and doing all these great things. But then I thought, first of all, I was like, well, number 46, well, how big is that? If you take a look at uh, finance, the finance apps, and take a look at what the number one app being downloaded is Cash App, then PayPal, 
Zelle, Venmo. I think you've heard about these things. And Chase and Wells Fargo and da-da-da. Now, if we come down here to we're looking at uh, number 40, oh, sorry, 45. Uh, they're right above Binance. <laughs> they're right above Binance for how many downloads they have for this wallet. So I would say this is a pretty big deal. And hopefully, you can onboard a lot of people who may not be familiar with a self-custodial wallet and that actually gets them into the things that actually we talked about today on NFA Live. On top of that, as far as uh, winning for Polygon, they just put out a tweet that said the Polygon ID team is excited to announce four tools released in the Polygon ID infrastructure or digital IDs. And I thought this was interesting because it says right here in the, in the tweet, Polygon ID unlocks a host of use cases. Because when I, when I hear digital ID, I'm like, are you doxing me? Are you going to is this the uh, information that's going to be all over the place? Well, no. They're saying that it's real world credentials, meeting Web3, enabling passwordless login. So all those passwords that get uh, siphoned off in the uh, ecosphere of the internet, which we've all lost our online data, that's a thing of the past. Aids and compliance that will verify user identity without sacrificing user privacy. You can also use this in KYC, e-commerce, and passwordless login yet again. So I'll link that uh, that tweet in the description below, and you can check it out. Again, I think this is a big win for Polygon. Again, super biased. And lastly, Ethereum. This is a pretty good uh, tweet from uh, James V. Stratton, uh, research data analyst at Crypto Slate. And he goes, look, I know people are concerned about this uh, Shanghai update, which will allow Ethereum to be uh, unstaked and people can take profits. But you got to remember that uh, 17.4 million ETH was staked. Only 20% of staked ETH is in profit. The realized profit of Ethereum is $1,379, while the deposit real profit is $2,155. So reverse psychology would say that 80% of holders are underwater. Uh, maybe they might wait for a little bit of profit as time goes on. Again, he says, who's out the door first? So I think this is actually a positive uh, way to look at uh, the Shanghai update because people are concerned like, ah, man, this sucks because now we're going to have all these people just dumping on us that are gonna able to unstake. But I don't think that is the case, but I could be wrong. Let me know what you think about that in the comments section. And that is it for today. So I'll just remind everybody that uh, the NFA Live, it's over on Guy's channel at Coin Bureau Clips. Again, it was a great discussion about the things that we can do to move things along. And really just comes out as to, to what we uh, can do together as a community. But that's it for today. So look, if you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Not that YouTube's going to uh, notify you anyhow, but it's a step in the right direction for the channel. Anyhow, that's it for today. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on the next one.